This is a major expression of the ritual incorporation of divine law and the ritual restoration of divine balance. We align our thoughts, intentions, and actions with divine order by aligning with the deity that's been assigned to our spiritual head. And then we engage the ritual process, the ritual incorporation of divine law, and the ritual restoration of divine order so that we can align our thoughts, intentions, and actions even when we make legitimate mistakes to get back on track so that we can execute our function as cells within this great divine body. This is the nature of the Hudu Aposom Magua, the Hudu Pantheon. We only align our thoughts, intentions, and actions with divine order. That means we only invoke the actual forces in creation. We don't invoke fake deities. We don't invoke fake deities from the pseudo-religions. We don't invoke the fictional cartoon character Jesus. We don't invoke the fictional character Allah. We don't invoke the fictional character Yahweh. The fictional character Brahma. We don't invoke fictional personalities like Muhammad and Abraham and Isaac and Ishmael and Solomon and Sheba and Menelik and Moses and Aaron and David. The so-called Hebrews, which are all fictional cartoon characters as we prove in our book, Kukutuntun, The Ancestral Jurisdiction. Moreover, when we talk about the ritual incorporation of divine law and the ritual restoration of divine balance, these are relationships that have been forged by Afurakani, Afurakani people, African people with the forces in nature, and Afurakani, Afurakani people only. When we talk about cells within the great divine body of the Supreme Being, plant life, animal life, mineral life, Afurakani, Afurakani human life, we are the cells that were fashioned in the beginning. We are the only human beings that were ever fashioned by the Creator and create tracks. And we have been here for millions of years. 